تبلوا بالقليل من القليل تبلوا بالقليل من القليل الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dear brothers and sisters I am brother Ziad with the Kunya of Abu Dhar from the Rukia services due to lots of questions from the brothers and sisters about how to destroy التعويذ we decided to shoot for your video for education and matter إن شاء الله تعالى to show you how to destroy التعويذ first of all uh, if you found the taweed, leave it as it is. Uh, get uh, with you ready a bottle uh, or a little bit of olive oil, pure olive oil, a little bit of sea salt, inshallah ta'ala, and a, a bowl of water and uh, scissors, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, first of all, remember that you are about to open a taweed that could be containing sihr and could be containing some other danger matters the person has attached to it when they do the taweeth, means the magician. So what we advise you to do, first of all, you have the uh, pure olive oil, you open the bottle or the bit of cup with olive oil, you get your mouth very close to the olive oil, and you recite uh, Surah Al-Fatiha, Ayat Al-Kursi, Al-Akhlas, Al-Falaq, Al-Nas. And don't forget, before you recite these verses, you need to say al isti'adha a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim it's vital we don't go just bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim and we recite as it's an order from the Qur'an Allah say uh, to do isti'adha before reading the Qur'an so we say a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen to the end wa al-dhalim ameen then you do like a dry blow of air like a dry spit in the olive oil then add the kursi then surat al-ikhlas qul huwa allahu ahad then al-falaq qul a'udhu bi rabbi al-falaq then surat al-nas qul a'udhu bi rabbi al-nas and don't forget the isti'adha before every surah why you prepare the olive oil that will be called the ruqya olive oil before you touch the ta'wid and you do anything we advise you to put a little bit of olive oil that you don't rock it to in your hand, inshallah ta'ala. Huh? As a matter of protection, in case there is sihr inside of this ta'weeth. Once you prepare your hand with a bit of rock olive oil, make sure you have water ready in your bowl. You do the same. A'udhu billahi sami' al-alim min ash-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillahirrahman rahim Surah Fatiha, then you spit. Ayat al-Kursi, then you spit. قل هو الله أحد ذن يسبء قل عوذ برب الفلاق ذن يسبء قل عوذ برب الناس ذن يسبء and make sure the water that you're gonna have over there it's not just a tap water it will be beneficial إن شاء الله تعالى if it is a mineral water so you will have the تعويذ إن شاء الله تعالى now it's not a real تعويذ what I have here it's just a paper that I've put like a تعويذ if it is wrapped with leather and sure, you're going to have some thread with it. All what you do, inshallah ta'ala, make sure you do it with yaqeen, with certainty that nothing harm you if you are protected with the Qur'an. When you have the first ta'weeth, now we imagine this has got leather around it, you have it, you say, Bismillahi, tawakkaltu ala Allahi, wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billah. Then you say this dua, بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم. Three time means by the name of Allah with whom nothing could harm me by His name nothing could harm me by the name of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. And when you come you come slightly to the leather imagine there's leather on the stawith and you undo it. Once you undo it you will come to the paper. Now imagine this is the paper of the tawith. Before you do anything to the paper, as you are opening the paper, you have to start doing أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد So basically you recite Surah Al-Falaq, inshallah ta'ala, and between each verse, you blow in this piece of paper. 
and as well Surah Al-Nas and you blow in between each verse قُلْ عَوْذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ مَلِكِ النَّاسِ you blow does it matter what's inside it? does it matter what's inside it? because sometimes a part of you are specified in this field of Ruqya and you understand what the Taweeth is saying you're not gonna do, undo the pose inside of this Taweeth so what you do does it matter? as soon as you finish Surah Al-Nas you say بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم. then you say عوذ بالله شتر رجيم بسم الله and you drop that piece of paper in the water that you have prepared. drop it in the water. make sure that it all stays in the water. now many brothers when they do the taweeth they forgot the thread. the thread will have knots. and the knots it's very 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 important that you undo them same time with the scissors. And in the middle of recital, you cut the knot. You have to cut the knot. Here, a very vital information I forgot to say. As you are preparing the water before you open the taweed, make sure it's uh, not water from the top. It would be better if it's mineral water. And make sure when you recite on that water, you add inside a little bit of sea salt. Just a little bit of sea salt inshallah ta'ala once you have undone the ta'weed and you recited once you have undone the thread and you have undone every single knot on the thread and you recited on it with blowing you put the whole lot in the bowl of the water and inshallah ta'ala leave it for, for, for a few hours uh, make sure that the ink which is written with in the water uh, in the paper should fade in the water should dissolve in the water if it doesn't, doesn't matter because sometimes they write it with stuff that doesn't dissolve in the water. Doesn't matter as long as you recite on that Taweeth Surah Al Falaq and Surah Al Nas, as long as you recite, inshallah ta'ala, on the water Surah Fatiha, Ayat Al Kursi, and the three Quls, as long as the recite is the, the Quran is recited on the Taweeth, as long as the knots are undone, as long as you blow the that with the Quran al Karim and it touch the Ruqya water, inshallah ta'ala, we say bi idnillah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the effect of that ta'weed should fade. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect all of us from every evil doing of magicians and all this bid'ah of the ta'weed. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. Any question, please contact us, we will try to help you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.